Well, it's been exactly a week since the 19 year old living in a group home for vulnerable adults died unexpectedly. Tonight, neighbors, friends and family, including an uncle that traveled from Minneapolis, honored Antoine Evans Hill in a candlelight vigil outside where he'd been living. They describe Antoine as a kind, funny and generous person. Witnesses say last Friday, staff at the 4th Avenue group home restrained Evans Hill after he became aggressive. He eventually stopped, then stopped breathing. He later died at Mayo Clinic St. Mary's. While autopsy results have not yet been released, people who knew Antoine see his death as a call to action. We just want to honor this young man that had to leave us too soon. Um, bring light to situations like this in group homes. Mm -hmm. We pray that the autopsy is going to show that it was not um, a malicious or wrongfully caused death. But unfortunately, in situations like this, most of the time it ends up being that way. The home has had two other maltreatment investigations in the past two years. Both were inconclusive. Brewer believes there needs to be more training and higher wages for people who work with vulnerable adults and children.